Hello, Central Illinois. Today, the state title contenders tip off regional play in the girls' tournament. We start first with the team ranked first in the state. Uh, Peoria Notre Dame begins with they hope it's a magical state tournament run at the IBC Regional. And while they are impressive, this is freshman Emmy Wardle to Maya Wardle. The two sisters will have a story on them tomorrow at 6. Later, it's going to be Maya Wardle with the steal. This is what Notre Dame does so well. They bring the pressure. She lobs it to Caitlin Cassidy for the pretty bucket right there. And then it's going to be Caitlin Cassidy hustling down the long pass, saving it to Lexi Bear and Lexi dialing long distance. Julia Mingus had 19. She's driving here. Caitlin Cassidy is going to get the rebound bucket. She had 20, and the Irish roll over Kiwani. Class 3A Galesburg Regional. Morton taking on middle line rival Limestone. And the Van Meenen girls were terrific. This is the freshman Abby Van Meenen, the and one. But then the junior Ellie Van Meenen right through the Limestone defense as the Potters built up a 22-4 lead. Ella Carmenzen will hit here for Limestone, but the Potters in control. Addie Engel finds freshman Peyton Hayes for three right there. And then it's the Potters seniors. Izzy Hutchinson right through the Rockets defense for the strong finish. Then Addie Engel is going to come up with a swipe and score. The Potters are winners. They'll now play Galesburg, who knocked out Richwoods. The state-ranked Washington Panthers at the Pontiac Regional taking on Streeter. First hoop of the game, Ainsley Redling Schaefer to Avery Tibbs. And Tibbs is pure. For three. Then watch Tibbs come up with the steal, and she's going to find Mazzie O'Brien with a quick delivery of the assist. Nicely done right there by Washington. Emma Hydebreeder, a nice passing interior here to beautiful to Becca McDougal from the high post to the low post for two. Then watch Tibbs here on the fast break to Adrian Donald. Donald, the lefty three point play. Then Tibbs, another steal. Avery just turned 16, so happy belated birthday to her. She's not getting older, she's getting better. To Mazzy for the three-point play. Washington wins and plays Metamora. That's the Geneseo Regional Peoria High taking on Dunlap tonight. Danielle Ruffin from the corner for three for the state-ranked Lions. But this game belongs to Dunlap. Close game. Cameron Campbell Grable to freshman Allison Norris. That's sophomore to freshman for the pretty highlight. Then the senior Bubba Solberger to Caroline Holmes for the hoop. Later Bubba the and one. Bubba had 28 points and she's still playing because Dunlap wins at 47 to 45. In class 4A, normal community, normal West taking their Twin City rivalry to Pekin in the postseason. Meredith Birchie right here will score for the Wildcats, but watch normal community three at a time. Amelia Lester for three from outside. And then the defense of normal community, Raina Powers comes up with a steal and you're not catching Raina in the fast break bucket right here for two. Then it's going to be Olivia Corson. Watch her step around the defender and score two over 13. Normal community wins. Nice little move there. They play Pekin in the final. Back to Class 2A. DMAC a winner tonight at the Clinton Regional. It was an all heart of Illinois night. DMAC winning over Clinton and Tri Valley a winner. DMAC and Tri Valley advance at the Clinton Regional. Canton was a winner. Jenna Goforth, the hero in their victory at Macomb. Illini Bluffs at the. Uh, Routes Rushville at the Menden Regional. Marissa Robertson to Reese Cruitt down low for two. Then Brooke Buchan's going to find Lily Lukowiak outside for three for uh, Illini Bluffs as they're rolling to a victory. Lukowiak right here for three. Later, Reese, Reese Cruitt will score again. Illini Bluffs wins. They'll play the host Menden for the regional finalist Cruitt. Finishes our highlights right there. Also in Class 1A, Peoria Heights is on target and a big winner at the Flanagan Regional. Watch that Tania Cox right here to Rihanna Foster and Foster's jarring it from the corner. Then Emily Dana, watch her take her time and patiently beat that zone defense. Gets right in the middle of it and gets the bucket right there. A rebound put back right here by Sylvia Thornton is going to be worth a three-point play for the Patriots who just dominated the second half. Beautiful pass right here from Cox to Dana to the bucket. Peoria Heights is a winner. At the Anawan Regional, Brimfield was 2 for 20 in the first half, but they advanced. They rally in the second half. Ava Simpson to C.J. Troxel for 3. Then Ava Hines is going to hit a jumper right here. Down 10 at halftime. Brimfield is not putting the uniforms away. They're winners. Olivia Campus on the steal. She's going to get to Ava Hines for a 3-point play. Brimfield's a winner. They play Anawan in the final. Now to the final week of the boys' regular season. Fieldcrest starts a busy final week, still unbeaten in the heart of Illinois Conference. Here come the Knights, taking on a very strong Lexington team tonight. Brady Rusby's going to find Ed Lorton with a nice pass. No look. Ed Lorton, the no-look three-point play. Very nice. Then Nathan Cook, sailing long distance. Rusman, another assist. Cook for three for Fieldcrest. Now Lexington's got some shooters of their own. Michael Olson, a corner three right here. Then watch Ethan Storm with a nifty reverse layup for the senior star for the Minutemen. But too much... Fieldcrest, they win again. Lorton for three. And then watch Brady Rustman the steal, and he's cleared for takeoff. Illini Bluffs boys and Tremont boys are also winners. Time now for